In eastern Ukraine, stun grenades have been thrown as armed men seized a police station and a security services headquarters. The Ukrainian government has accused Moscow of orchestrating this and other occupations in the east of the country and has threatened to send in its special forces. The situation is growing more volatile by the day, as Paul Mason reports. Caught by a neighbour on her mobile phone, the moment the standoff in East Ukraine got serious. In the small town of Slovyansk, men with guns break into the police station and seize it. Our people want to live quietly and peacefully without the junta who seized power in Kiev, and so that we're not under America and the West. We don't want to be their slaves, we want to be with Russia. The local mayor arrives to support them. Relax, she tells the crowd, these are local guys, the new Donetsk Regional People's Guard. As mayor of the city, I'm in charge of peace, quiet and stability. For me, the most important thing is that no one is killed or injured. Soon, a barricade was built and civilians arrived to cheer them on. But similarities between these events and the seizure of installations in Crimea, which led to its annexation by Russia last month, are ominous. Slovyansk is 50 miles north of Donetsk and in the region of Ukraine where Russian speakers form the majority. This was Donetsk today, where protesters have seized a police HQ, hoisted the Russian flag and proclaimed a breakaway republic. The police chief there resigned today. Vladimir Putin said Russia could shut down Ukraine's <coughs> gas supply. It's currently refusing to pay the asking price. He's also deployed troops close to the border with Ukraine. In Whitehall, the Ukrainians who've been protesting there for weeks are now very worried. They fear the West is about to stand back and let Vladimir Putin carve their country into pieces. UK, US and Russia, they've signed a Budapest Memorandum in 1994 in which they have guaranteed to protect the borders and territorial integrity of Ukraine. In exchange for Ukraine giving up the third largest arsenal of nuclear weapons in the world. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to appeal to the UK government to take strong actions against, against Russia, who are the aggressor trying to stir up things in eastern Ukraine and who've already annexed part of Ukraine, Crimea. Vladimir Putin's strategy is to force the West to accept a federalized and neutral Ukraine. To that end, diplomats have been expecting him to foster chaos and separatism in the east of the country. But not this fast, and not with guns. As the official police force of Donetsk scrambles to secure the offices they still control, nobody knows whether this is a major chess move by the Kremlin or the action of local groups who have simply jumped the gun. Paul Mason reporting.